Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Alfie, and I'm a fifth year med student currently studying in London. A couple of months back, I sat from my fourth year med school finals, and I came across this trick which really helped me learn the overwhelming amount of information there is in medical school. And dare I say, it made my revision process a little bit fun. So the trick is pretty simple, but essentially it works by enhancing the way I use Anki, a super popular flashcard based app, which helps students learn loads and loads of content using Active Recall. Now, Active Recall is great, but it can feel like a lot of work at times and it can be quite boring. So anything that can help it be a smoother and more enjoyable process is a win in my book. Now, to cut to the chase, the trick is pretty simple and it works by connecting a game controller such as this uh, from my Nintendo Switch um, to my laptop or desktop and using that to navigate Anki. And one of the reasons I'm focusing on that is because with the current pandemic, I just saw loads of articles about Switches selling out because those are people were jumping on to play Animal Crossing. So I thought loads more people would have access to controls like this. Personally, I'm a massive fan of the Switch and I love playing games like Smash Bros, Mario Kart, and Taiko no Tatsujin. So for me, basically, any games that you can play against other people. This might be old news to some people, but I've never heard of this before and a bunch of my friends who use Anki have never heard of this before either. So when I used this for the first time, I was actually shook because um, it kind of made me excited to go through flashcards just because it was like you could actually do it in a way which was similar to the way I play games. Now, I'm not trying to say that flashcards are fun. By no means am I saying flashcards are fun. I'm not the type of person to wake up in the morning, grab my phone and you know go through these cards. That's just not the type of person I am and, and that's not necessarily the, the, the type of way that I'm recommending to study. But anything that does make the process of studying more enjoyable is definitely something which I think should be shared. So after fiddling around for some time searching through Google and Reddit, I think I have the best way to set this up. To set everything up, first download Anki onto your computer if you haven't done so already. And I would also recommend getting it on your phone and your tablet. It is just another useful way to review information. But I think you do have to pay for the mobile version. But anyways, now once you have Anki installed, you'll need to download a add-on for keyboard shortcuts. Essentially, this is just gonna give you flexibility to customize buttons on your keyboard to do certain things on Anki. Now, when I was looking for apps to connect the Joy-Cons to Anki, the best one I could find was called Joy-Key Mapper, and it's pretty easy to use. So I've added a link to download that app in the description box below. To connect your Joy-Con to your computer, what you're gonna need to do is, once you turn off your Switch, you need to go into system preferences and then you need to select Bluetooth. And then what you need to do with your Joy-Con is you need to press this small little black button which is for pairing your uh, Joy-Con to a device with Bluetooth. And then you should be able to see uh, the Joy-Cons pop up in the Bluetooth bar and then select the ones that you want to connect to and that's pretty much it. Alright, so now the next step is to open up Anki. You want to download an add-on called Customize Keyboard Shortcuts. So just in case you guys um, aren't too sure of how to add on add-ons, you have to go up into uh, tools and then you can click add-ons. And then from there, you can click uh, get add-ons. And then if you, knew, if you know the code because you already saw the code from maybe a website or something, then you can just type in the code. But if not, you can always click on browse add-ons and just command F customize keyboard shortcuts. So it's that one right there. So you just need to click it to install it. And then once you've installed it, it'll ask you just to restart Anki. So just, you want to go back into your add-ons and you want to maybe customize any shortcuts which you think are important for the way you use Anki so that it can sync up with your Joy-Cons later on. So to do that, you want to click on Customize Keyboard Shortcuts and then you want to click on Config, con Configurate, I suppose. And it'll open up this kind of confusing sheet of essentially code. And um, the ones that I paid attention to was I looked at things like getting back to the main screen. So that one would be main deck browser. And I've set that for a keyboard shortcut of D. Um, other things like when you review cards, I've just set it up as the number. So one, two, three, four. And those are the main ones I've had. Now, the good thing about this though is if there's a certain way that you use Anki, then you can customize it so that there's an appropriate button uh, for this on your keyboard and later on when you know what sort of keyboard shortcut that is you just need to sync up that keyboard shortcut to the buttons on your Joy-Con. 
So, all right, so once you've connected your Joy-Cons to your computer, and then you have downloaded Anki, and you downloaded that keyboard shortcut, and you sorted out all those keyboard shortcuts, and then you've downloaded Joy Key Mapper, now we're finally ready to connect all the shortcuts you had for your keyboard to the different buttons on your Joy-Cons. So I think the best way of doing this is just showing you the way I've set this up and the different buttons I've set up to sync up with the different shortcuts I have. So let's start off with the left controller, which is this blue one. And uh, I'm just gonna click on Anki. And so the left side is pretty simple. I've only kept it to just help me navigate around Anki, just like scrolling up and down and things like that. So I've set the up button here as the up arrow key on my keyboard. I've set the down button here as the down button on my keyboard. And then I've also set the left joystick here as the mouse wheel to scroll up and down sort of longer cards or, or on their homepage as well. So that's pretty much it for the left Joy-Con. Now, for the right Joy-Con, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Um, so I've set this up so that the top buttons here, so Y, X, and A, act as your sort of review buttons. So when you're looking at an Anki flashcard, and you'll see this in a demo uh, soon after, uh, there's an option once you click into the card that you have to click to determine if you thought this card was easy or good or if you wanted to do that card again. So, so I've synced that up with these buttons here. So if I wanted to do a card again, I would press Y. If I thought my knowledge of the card was good, I'd press X. And if I thought the card was easy, then I'd press A. That's pretty much it for those buttons. Now, as I'm navigating through Anki, once I've clicked onto a card and I want to show the answer, I've put the button on the back here as the button for the space bar. So that helps me go to the next card and helps me show the answer. So I've also changed the button at the bottom, the home button, to help bring me back, once I'm in a deck, back to the main screen where I can see all the different decks. And then the last bit is the joystick here acts as a mouse alongside with the button B. So I can use this to uh, move the mouse around on the page. And then if I press the button B, that helps me click into the thing. So for Anki, this is just gonna be scrolling around and then this is just me hitting the deck. So this is how I've set up uh, my keyboard shortcuts for my Joy-Cons. Now, the great thing about these apps is that you can really customize it to however you want. So if you didn't wanna use two Joy-Cons like I've done so, you can just use one and set up the buttons so that they sync up the way you like it. That's enough said there. Let's just jump into a quick demo for how this actually looks like in Anki. I'm just gonna show you guys how these button works as I work through my flashcards as a sort of demo. So we're on the homepage now, and on my left Joy-Con, I can use this button to scroll up and down on the page. And it's more useful for when I'm going through longer flashcards. So if those come up, then maybe we'll see that. Um, and now on my right Joy-Con, this is just going to help me navigate with the mouse. And then I can, if I wanna select something, I can use the B button to select that. So let's select module A, and we can now uh, study module A. All right, now we have the flashcard. So atrial fibrillation and flutter, what are some of the etiology, so causes and risk factors? Atrial fibrillation is a irregular rhythm in the heart. So for the causes and things like that, if I wanna show the answer for this flashcard, all I'm gonna to have to do is press the right Joy-Con on the back here. And so I'm gonna look at the answers. So some of the causes, pulmonary disease, ischemia, rheumatic disease, anemia, thyroid toxicosis, ethanol, so alcohol, uh, sepsis, sick sinus syndrome, things like that. So the buttons here sync up with the options that they have on the screen to review the cards. So for example, if I thought that a question was easy, then I could press A. If I thought a question was all right, it was good, then I could press X. And if I thought I wasn't so sure with it and I had to do it again, then I'll just press Y or again. So for this one, let's say it was easy. Okay, so the next question, atrial fibrillation and flutter, what is the management? So again, I press the back button to show the answer. Now, if this is a slightly longer page, what I want to do is I can use the left joystick to scroll up and down for the answer. And if I want to select anything, I can use the right joystick for the mouse. Now, that's pretty much how I navigate around Anki. The last important button is if I want to get back to the home screen, then I put that as the home button on the Joy-Con. So that takes me home. 
and pretty much is the demo for how I use this Joy-Con with my Anki setup. So that wraps up this video. I know that it's a different sort of video to what I usually film, but I thought that this tip was super useful, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. Comment down below if this did actually help you guys with Anki or just learning more content. So I'm actually about to go back into wards in a couple of days, and don't worry, the medical school vlogs are still gonna keep on coming. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.